Are you pregnant and preparing for an elective C-section? Let's go over five things you can do to prepare for it. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell below so you don't miss any of my future releases. My first tip for mamas who prepare for an elective C-section is to plan your support system smartly. So an important thing to know about C-sections is that you won't be allowed to lift more than your baby's weight for at least six weeks. That means you'll need help to get your baby in and out of the car for appointments because lifting your baby in the car seat would be too heavy. Tasks like getting groceries, cooking, doing house chores, um, walking the dog, it should all be delegated to someone else. Whether it is your partner taking time off or a family member coming to stay with you, full-time support will definitely be needed for those first six weeks in order to allow your body to heal. Now, another important thing is that um, you might not be allowed to drive for six weeks after your C-section. Anyway, that's the case in my country, in Canada, and that's for insurance purposes. Um, that's always a big surprise for all of my clients. And of course, that can significantly limit your ability to get out and about for appointments and other outings. So that's definitely something you should plan around as well. My second tip for you is to prepare your environment in a way that supports your healing. If you have stairs at home, we will really try and avoid them for the first few weeks to promote healing and reduce pain around the incision. So having a sleeping area on the same floor as everything else, like the bathroom and kitchen, would be ideal. Um, and if you don't have a spare room to use, maybe setting something in the living room with um, nice blackout curtains so you can make it dark for naps. I would also not recommend a mattress directly on the floor because getting up from the floor after a C-section can be quite difficult and painful. So you will want to have a higher bed that is easy to get up from. Now, the second thing in your environment that you should be looking at is what kind of seating will you have for baby's feeds? We spend so much time sitting around and feeding in the first few weeks. So you definitely want to invest in a good quality chair and ideally something that you can adjust the angle of the backrest. A lot of my clients have reported being more comfortable in a slightly reclined position after the C-section versus upright. So that is something to consider when purchasing a chair. Make sure it's not too deep either and that you can have your feet resting on the floor properly. And the last element of your environment that you should look at is um, a raised toilet seat, especially if your toilet is low, uh, just to make it easier for you to get up from the toilet after the surgery. Um, if you don't find one, you could also look at those bars that you can put on the wall beside your toilet just to pull yourself up. And my third tip is to make sure you take care of your pelvic floor and deep core during pregnancy to increase your chances of bouncing back faster postpartum. We tend to think mistakenly that the pelvic floor does not get affected when we have a C-section. But I can tell you I've had multiple cases of mamas who had pelvic floor issues after a C-section. Things like painful sex or urine leaks, for example. And they were blown away that they were dealing with these issues because they were like, well, the baby never went through my pelvic floor, so how come am I dealing with this? But you need to remember that pregnancy itself affects the integrity of the core and pelvic floor system. And scar tissue from the C-section can also affect the pelvic floor. My online signature program helps mamas just like you prepare their pelvic floor and core for the smoothest recovery, regardless of how you deliver your baby. And it provides you with a full comprehensive plan to recover from your C-section and get strong in no time. So if you're interested in working with me, you can apply on the free discovery call with me in the description below so we can see if we're a fit to work together. My fourth tip is to have your pain management options all ready to go before the surgery. That way you'll get home with baby and everything will be in place for you to manage your pain without having to run around or get your partner to run around in town to get what you need to feel comfortable. You can discuss what kind of medication you will need for pain control with your healthcare provider right now so you can get it ahead of time if it's not under prescription. 
I also recommend soft ice pack, you know, like the gel ones that you can put on your incision a few times a day to soothe the area. And you ideally want to get more than one so you can rotate them as needed. The other thing that can help tremendously for pain management after a C-section is to use a soft adjustable abdominal wrap. It's especially helpful in the first month um, to reduce pain when you're moving around, when you're sneezing, when you're coughing and laughing, which all puts pressure on the incision. So I will link my favorite wrap in the description below. And my last advice for you, Mama, is to discuss your birth plan with your healthcare provider so you know what your options are for your surgery. You may be like, what do you mean my options? Do I have anything to say about any of this? Oh yes, my dear, you have a lot to say. And there's a lot of things you can ask to shape your belly birth experience the way you want, especially for an elective C-section because it's scheduled, right? And it's typically much more relaxed than an emergency C-section. Um, and again, these options can vary depending on the hospital, but it's worth asking anyway. So you know things like playing your own music in the room or having a transparent drape so you can see your baby coming out if that's something you want. Um, I've also seen some videos on Instagram of mamas pushing their baby out during the C-section for an increased sense of control over their delivery. Um, you can discuss things like, you know, doing skin to skin right away when baby is out, um, try to breastfeed, you know, right away. Other things like uh, dad cutting the umb umbilical cord or announcing the baby's sex, you know, if that's um, a surprise. So, you know, all of these things can be part of your birth plan and discussed ahead of time. If you're preparing for an elective C-section, leave me a comment below. I would love to know how you feel, how you're preparing for it, and if there's anything you would like to suggest. Thanks for watching.